And Grant, while we're talking about red tide, there's a so-called dead zone in the Gulf. Little or no oxygen for marine life. A little bit bigger this time around. Yeah, it's bigger and it's a, it's a, a thing that we've seen year after year after year. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration and other agencies, mm -hmm. they track this and they're able to study it and see how it changes from year to year. And it's something that we we, we can kind of relate to here in Tampa Bay. A, a lot of the, you know, a lot of fishing boat captains and the marine life interests, they're concerned that, gosh, if this continues for our red tide here locally, that we might see a similar situation occur. This is the, the dead zone that we see develop in the northern Gulf of Mexico. And like Frank said, it's a water choked of oxygen, making it difficult for marine life to survive. Now, this year's dead zone is a little bit bigger than normal. Now, I want to compare this. The size of Connecticut is roughly 5,500 square miles. This dead zone this year was measured to be roughly 6,300 square miles. So it's actually a little bit larger than the entire state of Connecticut that averages about 5,300 square miles and the record was 8776. That was back in 2017. So a little bit bigger than normal, not quite a record size. And this is all produced because of all those major, major agricultural states across the Central Plains. All the runoff from those fields and from those farms all feed into the rivers and streams and the tributaries that feed into the Mississippi River. And all of that nutrient rushes down the Mississippi and then is distributed into the Gulf of Mexico. So it deposits all those nutrients like the nitrogen, the phosphorus into the Gulf. And that's what produces those algal blooms that we're familiar with, with red tide. And that ultimately is what limits the oxygen in the water, producing that dead zone. A lot of marine life, they just stay away from this area. So this whole area, it may not produce fish kills, which it can. They just stay away from that area because there's no oxygen for the, the marine life to survive. So again, something that we track, not a record this year, but a little bit bigger than the five-year normal.